You learn to a life transforming experience as Pastor Prince Abba brings you God's word with deep insight and power. God bless you. If this state, for instance, is going to be on a rise, you see what is going on? Poverty over, all over the land. Are you guys not tired? To wake up in the morning and see people struggling in the state. It's not politics that will solve the problem. It's spirituality that will deal with the issue. There are directions kings cannot have except it comes from Zion. Yes, sir. When Zion has no voice, wicked men will rule like the light. When Zion has voices that can speak to kings and they listen, then Zion has become relevant and kings are obligated to do the needful. The reason politicians in some cities can wake up and do the way they want to do is because there are no priests to call them to order. The governor in New York cannot behave the way he wants to behave. Umoba is a voice there. I hope you know the governor of New York now, of Akwaibo, is a pastor. Full-fledged pastor. What a blessing. Full-fledged pastor. So when you have a priest on the throne, why would he listen? Full-fledged pastor. All this one that some states are having no bony men in power is because the church has not taken their rightful place. Occultic men are ruling in power. It's because the church have not woken up to take their rightful place. Southeast, everywhere you see shrine. Other people are giving up on idolatry and they're embracing the gospel. South is his living God and going back to idolatry. Go to Onishansi. Almost everywhere in the South East, you see churches, half of them, native doctors are their pastors. What have we not heard? Pastors from the South East who go to swear to deities to receive power, to come and do ministry. What have we not heard? What have we not seen in the South East? Ministers are pounding children. They are burying human beings too. It's all over the south. I'm not saying it's not happening elsewhere. This place has become the headquarters. Fake miracles, headquarters, southeast. Witchcraft and sorcery, headquarters, southeast. Unknown government, headquarters, southeast. Unemployment, they have a pressure of infrastructure. Headquarters, southeast. Why is it so? Please will be silent. And why is it so? Because the people who should have supported the priests to rise and do their job are killing the men. There's a kind of investment if you put on me now. I have power to declare state of emergency in a whole city. Until the government do the bidding of the church. I have that power. But until you give me the necessary feathers I need to fly. And how do you give me that feather? It's by taking your position as sons. Because it is sons who fathers deploy to gates to go and conquer. You have to allow me raise you to that level. You see how Dr. Enetio was talking during the election. With boldness and audacity. He wasn't talking like that because he knows how to preach. His sons everywhere. Men who are positioned in everywhere. You can't touch such men. Because they have, they are, they have become institutions. They are heavyweights. In the spirit, in the fiscal, in finances, in everything. You can't touch them. They are voices speaking for the voiceless. Do you know your father is a voice speaking for you? When you align with him, when you support him, when you give him a voice to speak, you do that for your benefit. There are things I want to show you, but I have to close here. Because it's not a day for long, long sermon. The message to take home today is understand that fatherhood is the foundation on which God builds anything. If God wants to build a society, it's on fathers he will build it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, I heard something that happened in New York. The governor, former governor, Akbabio, who is now Senate president. You know, we don't, sometimes we don't know how these men just are sending to all those offices. Akbabio, when he was governor, got a cancer from a priest to host a worship experience that was going to last, I think, for one month. 
and then he was instructed to put together a 5,000 mass choir. A governor. He obeyed. Put together a 5,000 mass choir and they were worshipping in the stadium for a month or so. After that spiritual exercise, guess what happened? Aquaibom discovered oil inside Aquaibom State. They had never, they never knew they had oil in that city. It was after that worship experience that they discovered they had oil buried in the city. Now, Aquaibom is an oil producing state. They have money to do okay. Go to you and see open heaven in that land. They have access to resources. They have access to all kinds of things. Aquaibom is becoming a tourist center. If you know how much they make from tourism alone. Because the city opened themselves up to God. We need a kind of church in a boy that will open up this city to heaven. The poverty in the land has a remedy. The decay in the city has a remedy. I brought in two Canadians. I said it somewhere yesterday while I was preaching. Two Canadians from, the, from Canada for a program here two years ago. When we drove into the land, they said, one of the ladies, a guy and a lady, the lady said to me, he said, Dr. Prince, this land is dead. I said, it's not true. How can you say this land is dead? I said, see how our governor has given us flyovers. See beautiful lights everywhere. And you said the land is dead. He said, Dr. Prince, it's not the flyovers and the light that gives life to a city. I said, so what are you saying? He said, it is the quality of life of the people. He said, when we passed the boundary, I felt something in the atmosphere here. He said, there's something in the atmosphere. He said, there's a thick cloud of religion in the land and needs to be broken. He said, people need to have access to God in this land. He said, there's too much of wealth buried in this abode. Too much of wealth, wealth. Nobody in boy has any reason to be poor. Too much of wealth. We have limestone at in Calago. We've not been able to do anything with that. And you think it's because there's no money. It's because there's darkness in the air. Look at the water skin they built. So is it that it was? Is it they built down for the water skin? Is it functional, sir? No functional. What is stopping that from happening? That can put water, potable water in every house in a boy state. Why is it not functional? Look at the university we even have here. It's becoming a shadow of itself. Look at the mineral resources we have led here. We have terrible things in this land, though. Mineral resources buried. Yet, this city is Keke, capital of Nigeria. This city is Okada, city of Nigeria. When you go to Anambra, here, people that they laugh at are Bakli people. They're the ones doing the meanest of jobs. They're the ones who are attributed to crime, attributed to all kinds of negativity. When a crime happens in a market, motor park, or wherever, and they catch the person, first thing they suspect is that it's an abaklike man. We have no reason to be where we are in this state. One of the things that will pull us out is understanding fatherhood. The principle of honor. When we understand fatherhood, spiritual fatherhood, government must understand it. Individuals must understand it. The church must understand it. It's time for this state to have spiritual voices that speak to the land, that speak to the systems, that speak to the structures, that speak to the political corridor, that speak to the economy, that speak to the gates. Starting with you in this church. Understand fatherhood. Submit. Get it right at least with submitting, with obeying me. Get it right with following me. Get it right with honoring me. Get it right with at least listening to my instruction. Because from here, some of you will rise to repair the solutions in this city. Some of you will rise to fix the crisis in this land. Not just in a boy's set, even across the southeast and across Nigeria, if you're the one I'm talking to, Father, big amen. No more will things be the same again. I'm telling you, I've heard the Lord told me several, or tell me several, things will be new in this land. And not just in this land, things will be new all over Southeast. And not just in Southeast, things will be new all over Nigeria. And the men and the women that the Lord is going to use to get it happen will rise from here. 
It doesn't matter people who have gone ahead of us. You see the way you see all these big men who have risen in the gospel? God is also going to raise great men from this land. And you are one of them, my friends. I say you are one amongst them, my friends. Stand on your feet everywhere you are. Time will fail me. There are so many other things I had dear to say, but ah, because of the time of uh, everyone who found time to be here, I need to close. Just stand on your feet everywhere you are. Fatherhood is a very key principle. Very key principle. We're not done on this subject. We're going to continue. Maybe Thursday midweek service. We're going to establish some further things. To help you see how you can receive your father. How you can relate with your father. Because that's how everything is built. You see any ministry that is speaking to corridors of power. That is speaking to the gates of nations. Speaking to the gates of cities. It is sons that supported their fathers get there. Huh? It is sons. When Dr. Enenche came to Abakliki, I was at the stadium that first day with some of my men. When he finished and he left, I, was, I stayed there till one o'clock crying. You know my cry, sir. Lord, when? 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 No boy man has filled that stadium. No boy man has done a crusade there. Not, not one. No boy man. We're going to pray one prayer. This is my birthday request to every one of you. Let that cloud over this land stopping the church from imagining. Let it break. Guess what? Listen to me. When I took over this project, somebody asked me a question. He said, why did you choose to build a big building of this magnitude and of this quality? at this strategic location I said this has cost me everything at some point I sold my Range Rover Jeep I sold my Mercedes Formatic Jeep, I sold my Hilux Jeep for the sacrifice of this work and I was ready to trek and somebody said to me why are you going through all that I said I have a southeast project. Most people don't understand it. They think I'm um, building my personality. If I wanted to build a personality, I would not be doing this. If I wanted to build my personal business, all the money I've put in here is enough, my friends, for me to use and establish anything I want to establish. But I'm doing this for a generation that people are calling orphans. Was it not before Pastor David Obweli and some other great men of God in Abuja where they asked me, said, Pastor Prince, what is going on in your land? We are not hearing anything. What's going on there? And even in the entire southeast, everywhere is silent. And Pastor David said to me, he said, whatever you would do, starting with a boy and the whole southeast to break the limitation please i pay the price i cried leaving that place i don't want to say some of the things that were told me in that meeting but i want to appeal to you no matter what you do i want you to know this that the kingdom of god advances on the cause of violence it will take a people who are violent to reclaim the desolation of this territory. See, I have seen poverty in this land. And I have wept. Somebody was telling me the other day how she was going towards Centenary City and she saw crowds of laborers. Piles of laborers on the road. And majority of them are women. You know what they do? Every day they carry their shovels and go out looking for where to go and walk just to make 2,000 naira to feed their children. Poverty that you can't explain. Can I prophesy to somebody? There's somebody listening to me here right now. The anointing of God will come on you on this service. You'll be so empowered to become a financial pillar. Not just in this church, but in this state. The kind of money that is about to enter somebody's hand is the kind of money that builds cities. 
that build cities. This is part of the reason Pristine Hills is here. I'm telling you the truth. Pristine Hills is not here just to run a church. This thing I'm building here, I'm not building because we want to have service. What I'm building here is a factory of leaders. It's a plant where leaders in different sectors will march. Leaders who will help government. Look at the debt in Abakik everywhere. Government can't solve these problems. They may have the money, but they may not have the strategy to solve the problem. It will take kingdom people, people from here, that will rise and step out by the empowerment of God to solve these problems, to clear this desolation, to clear these issues going on in the states. There's a person here, God can empower you with resources, empower you with ideas on how to clear the debris in this land and help government solve their problems. Everything good lands everywhere else except here. For the sake of this ministry, can I tell you something? A boy state will become a tourist state. Maybe you don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying what I'm telling you prophetically. You're going to see white men coming here. Just watch and see. You're going to see the kinds of Kenneth Copeland coming to this church. You're going to see the kind of will. Bill Winston coming to this church. You're going to see the kinds of Maurice Arello, all those kind of those men you hear about in the US, white men. A time is coming. We're going to be having conferences in this land and nations will be coming here. Oh, you're not hearing what I'm saying. If you're hearing what I'm saying, shout that amen. Well, amen. go to Lagos this week alone. You'll be seeing different programs. Nathan Abasi is ministering one place. Doom Sin is ministering in that place. Messi Chinwe is ministering in that place. Um, give me their names. You know their names. Popular people. Eh? Hello? Hello sir. You see all kinds of programs. You go to Lagos, one street alone. Hmm. Different world class meetings are going on. Some of them is there holding his leadership. Godman is there holding his own. Redeem is there holding their own. Winners is there holding. And the whole place is packed full. Different men of quality from different parts of the world are in one city. And then someone was asking me, why is Lagos that blessed and fortunate? I said, it's not politics. It's the spirituality in the land. You see, you see the kind of men that are converging in that one land. See the likes of Oerebo that is there. See the likes of Adebo Kumuyi. And you think that land will not open to God. Pastor Chris. All kinds of commercial things will be happening. See the international shopping mall we have there. Nothing is going on. The place can be filled. Why? Because there's poverty in the land. Today, I lift up my hands to the heavens. And I declare the heavens open over my state. There are some things we need to be happening here. Do you know a whole year will come and pass? You won't see one Nathan Elbasi. The only place you'll be seeing him is in YouTube. He can't land here. Because who can bring him? You won't see one Victor Renzi. You won't see one Dunsin. A whole year will come and pass. It's only on your YouTube you'll be watching them. They are attending midweek services in other churches. Normal midweek service. And nobody knows that they even the printed. They don't print flyer, nothing. If we have to bring them here, we'll start doing that but one year ahead of time. To let the whole city that we know that we brought a whole Victoria Renze. Or we brought a whole Mesichinwo. But in other places, they just throw into service and just worship and go away. The Lord is changing the tides in this land. So let me tell you what my body is. So that you will pray well. It doesn't mean when you finish praying this prayer, you will go. I have my poor men outside. If you don't give me your honor, if I don't see your check, you won't check out. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So don't say, okay, we have done birthday. Pastor's birthday body is to ask the Lord to change the way things are here. No. After that one, come and honor your father. Because that is how you get the thing done. Amen. Amen. So this is the body, and this is how I want us to pray right now. And then we close this session. The prayer is, Lord, please visit a boy with your mercy. I don't need to be from a boy state to have body for a boy. If I'm in Imo state, it's the same body now half of the land. If I'm in Akwaibo, it's the same body now half of Akwaibo. If I'm in Calabar, it's the same body. I don't need to be. I'm not a local church pastor. I'm a pastor to nations. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? If I'm in America, that's the same body that we have. I don't need to be from a boy state to have that body. So I don't even, it's not a matter of whether I'm from a boy state. I'm not even from a boy state. I'm from Zion. Amen. Amen. Where did I say that from? I'm from Zion. But I, I live in a boy state for now. Amen, somebody. But you see the body that I have for the land. That's how you don't need to be from a boy state. You don't need to be from a back clicky. You don't need to be from, as long as you're in a boy state, you have to have body now, special body for this land. Let the poverty in the land break your heart. Let the death in the land break your heart. Let the religion in the heart in the land break your heart. Let the way things are done, let it break your heart. Let's pray that God will have mercy. Open the heavens. We want even this new government, we want them to align to God. Let God give them an ear for instruction. For instruction. One of the prayer I'm praying is that Lord, make the church a voice in this government. Let the church not be relegated to the background. It's not divine mandate pastors' things. That's not the church having a voice in the land. That's the church playing politics. That's not the thing. Is the church taking her rightful place where they can be consulted in times of need for direction? We want to see kings coming to hear us. Show them how to help the young people in this land out of poverty. Show them how to help people out of keke. Show them how to help people out of okada. Show them how to help people out of criminality. How to help people out of all these issues. Unemployment. Lift up your hands to heaven everywhere you are. Say with me, Father. Let your heavens open. Shout it, young people. Say, Father. Let your heavens open. And let your reign of mercy shower on a boy's state. Say, Father, on this birthday, we pray for revelation on the subject of fatherhood, on the subject of spiritual fatherhood. Help us to know that fatherhood is the foundation on which everything is laid. Help us today to pick our rightful place as sons in this land that will reclaim this city that will reclaim this state back for you Lord this is our heart cry this morning now turn to prayers everywhere you are I want to hear the church pray passionately passionately every day people live in one state people are living people don't want to do business in this land people are living every day because they feel the land is hard or dry. No more, no more. Let's ask the Lord to rain his mercy. Whatever we have gone wrong in the land, whatever the government has gotten wrong, whatever blood, whatever thing is speaking against the foundation of this city, by this order, this morning we ask Lord that you intervene. Go ahead and pray one more minute. Just lift up your voice. Open the heavens, Lord, over here, boy. Open the heavens all over the southeast. Let churches down with raise sons by this principle of fatherhood. Let those churches emerge that will reclaim the cities, that will reclaim territories for you, that will reclaim everywhere, everything that is wrong in the city, wrong in the land. By this meeting, Lord. We come with a voice raised up to you and we ask that you intervene. We break the spirit of poverty over our lives, over the city, affecting anyone here. We break it. We break it. We break it. Everything holding your people from entering their place of rest. Everything holding your children from becoming the men and the women they ought to be. We declare your glory to reign over the land. 
new atmosphere over a bad fit. A new atmosphere over the inhabitants of the land. We break the power of religion. We break the power of darkness. We break the power of poverty. We break the power of sodomy. We break the powers of the devil over the land. And we release an army of deliverance to emerge. An army of sons to emerge. An army of people that will change the way things are done. transformed by the wonders of God's Word. For additional information about us, you can visit our website at www.princetonhills.org. You can also send us a mail at info at princetonhills.org or call 070-331-66762 or 081-315-55747. Princeton Hills Ministries, Raising Global Global Leaders. Leaders.